So good morning from Lyov. This is our last day and we are going on a road trip to visit yeah. some uh, nearby castles. So let's see how that goes. I'm driving. 200 kilometers back and forth. How confident are you? Pretty confident, of course. Right. Says Eddie who has no driver's license. No, I, I just, uh, I'm just like a very good uh, assistant. Yeah, he's right. not. So this is the Brody Castle, our first stop, which uh, as you can see it's open 24-7 because, well, it's mostly a ruin, as Eddie put it, it's always what opened. What one? The Brody Castle. Yeah. So today, there are a lot of castles. You we throw will... A stone, you hit a castle. <laughs> you throw a stone, you hit a castle. Today we will do a day trip around Lyov. Ex experiencing and discovering and exploring some local castles um, some uh, better preserved, some not so good preserved anyway, so at least this one is free and I think that's the... how it uh, even looked had like a moat. Oh, nice! And a drawbridge. Wow! And where's the water now? Apparently, it was destroyed in the 18th century. Okay. Uh, ah, so it's more of a ruins kind of thing. But yeah, it had a drawbridge and a moat. Wow! Look at that. Okay. So Eddie, what do you think about this site? Uh, yeah. You brought us here. No, no, you brought us here. The maps brought us here. It's, uh, it's the ruins of a castle. It's interesting, historically. I mean, there's no moat anymore, but... Yeah. It's like a park. You took your time. You what? You what? Cats love you. Look, this cat left. Oh my god! She wants. Can we take her home? Yeah, pet me. <laughs> I think. I think she wants. She wants home with us. Can we take her home? She likes me. Well, maybe a she. A lot will... of us make that mistake at first. <laughs> <laughs> she likes you too. <laughs> And what's Eddie doing? Probably found something more interesting to... Atlas. 
so this is a castle. The first one we actually get to visit today. You can see something. It's, uh, it's impressive. I think we can go inside. Or? <laughs> we are already. Here's the main door. Oh. Yeah. Awful, awful. The clothing. The clothing, yes, it is. Uh, it's the clothing. Yeah. And it looked like they're running down the roadway. But I think this is how the interior used to look like of this castle. But unfortunately, right now there is not much left to see. So they are working to restore it. So, I think it's really sad what happened to this castle since the interior, well, it just doesn't look the same as it was constructed. Uh, unfortunately, after the, um, the Nazi, the Polish, the Soviets and pretty much everybody who walked on these lands and conquer them had a great influence on the culture and as we saw yesterday in the Jewish tour and World War II tour um, there were a lot of uh, churches and other buildings affected by this and this is also what happened to the, <laughs> this castle nevertheless what's still standing it's beautiful the pictures are just incredible of what it was inside. And now we are off to the next castle. I mean, at least the Nazis were, were kind of taking care of culture. Third castle of today. It's the third castle of today is Oleski. second there when we entered this uh, hall I thought this was a real person sitting on a chair so again this uh, castle seems like um, well, it's a museum right now there are a lot of pictures of what it used to look like the only problem is that there is no English translation to all of this then 
Oh, really? How does this thing work? Really, look here. Oh, it's, oh, it's crowded. It's the coat of arms are right under, like here. Why? Hmm. There remains a bit luck stuff here. So I will not comment on this, but uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I can uh, see why the artist choose to remain anonymous. <laughs> Dacă e comentarii jos, să știu acum. I was thinking, you know, this, what they say about naive art, but do they really have to accept any sort of crap to forgive it? Why are these people torturing themselves? Oh, they're in hell. Mm -hmm. Satan. Uh, the, the devil is trying to steal those little kids. This is the gate. To hell. And then this is heaven. Heaven seems a lot like a lot of work, see you just seeing. Why are you taking a picture of this? <laughs> there's naive art and there's really naive art. <laughs> This is the part where it gets better. With more furniture, shiny stuff. This looks more like a palace. Sorry, castle. Is that a king we are looking for?
So right under the castle, in the cellar, they have a well, which uh, basically was uh, built to ensure water access in case of a, you know, attack. But, uh, but uh, now people just throw uh, money. I should build a well then. Yeah, look. And they don't this throw is be just my, coins. This is my they, they, then. they throw. I'm just like, gonna build a magic well. They throw bills. Why would they do that? There's probably a guy down there collecting them. Yeah, they're in the darkness. And right in the souvenir shop, it's like the giant uh, aloe vera. So this is our fourth castle of the day. The Chinese castle. No, 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 not the Chinese. This is a Chinese castle. This is? This is a Chinese castle, yes. And um, it should be pink inside. Looking forward for that pink color. You know, pink is my favorite color. So, um, yeah. I love the gardens, I think they're well maintained and I wonder if we can go inside. So far this was the most expensive entrance. Apparently even the Chinese inspired uh, this uh, new to child uh, art. Yeah, and this gazebo. So the big palace, oh, the Chinese palace place, so the palace was also used as a prison during the war. And uh, here are some things they left, they found, they're now in the museum. And the stories of people who were killed. This is the reconstruction of the drown hall, I guess.
that we made it back home after visiting, I think, five castles or so. It took us eight hours, seven hours, eight hours, I think. Uh, I was driving not that much, but um, yeah, I was driving for, I think, three hours in total, going around the castles, and now we are back uh, and getting ready to drop off the car. And that was our day trip from uh, Lviv. So, yeah, it's really worth it and you should do it. And there are so many things here to explore, many, many, many more than we saw today. So, yeah, you should check it out.